In today's Kitchen Table Talk, we're discussing side hustles. That's right, ways to earn extra income from something that you're passionate about. I'm really excited about this topic because whether you're a creative or you're just good at like a certain skill, whatever it is, turning your hobby into a side hustle can be rewarding not only personally but financially. We're joined by wealth building expert and business coach, Makisha Booth, our money expert. And one of the things, I was reading some of this material that you sent me and the thing that like stuck out in my mind at first was you just saying like choose something that you get compliments on. Like that's where you start, right? Like what are you just good at? What do other people recognize you're good at, right? Exactly. Exactly. I think a lot of times people think that in order for them to start a business, they need to like have a business degree or have some strong background. But really, a lot of great companies and businesses start with something you're good at, people love, and they're willing to pay for it. So just think of like what you enjoy doing and who in your warm circle, your friends and family, would be interested in purchasing. So if they're telling you like you're baking, like make some cakes for us. Can you? You should start a company doing. It. That's a sign that that's like maybe a side hustle opportunity. I love that you said it's a sign, right? Because a lot of the times all of us are in a gig economy, you know, we're just trying to survive. Exactly. So let's say you, you pick up on that sign, as you just stated to our audience, what would be the next step? So one of the steps is that you wanna, uh, after you decide you're gonna do this, you wanna open a business bank account and see your attorney about like making sure you get a business registered with the Colorado Secretary of State. But then you wanna think about like what your offer is gonna be and like and what the product or service is, is that you wanna offer and, 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 and organize that and set up, just deliver, just deliver. I love Find that. Find a customer and deliver. Just deliver, Yeah, I know. Can I also sell not just like, you know, a product. I don't know that I'm out here like making anything. I certainly am not gonna make a cake to sell. That wouldn't, that wouldn't work for me. But like it, my expertise on something, like I love decorating Christmas trees. She and does. Teaching someone. Mm -hmm. And I thought about your husband too. Like maybe you don't wanna like buy something that I can make, but I can give you my services. Absolutely, you can walk dogs, you can, if you're in a company um, and you uh, are an expert in the area of work you do in your company, you might wanna do some consulting or mm. support for a small business in that area or, or another company in that area. So you can offer your expertise in graphic design and photography, you can go do dog walking. So services are definitely, first of all, they're also less expensive than trying to get together the inventory and supplies for mm -hmm. products. And so services are often a really good way to just jump in and, and start offering services to generate revenue. And if you love what you do, it doesn't feel like work. That's something my parents like always work. told me. And as a, as a kid, I always was like, okay, but it's true because in college I had a lot of jobs that I was not passionate about. And it would take a lot for me to get out of bed and actually go do said job, right? Yeah. But as soon as I found out what I was passionate about, all of a sudden I could have as many work hours as possible and it didn't feel like I was actually working. So. Exactly, and if you've been in the game for you know, 10, 15, 20 years doing something, you have expertise, monetize it. I wrote this post online the other day that said when, and you can charge really good for it. And when mm. people ask why you charge that much, it only took you an hour to do that. You say, I'm not charging for the hour, I'm charging for the 15 yes. years of experience Ooh. behind the hour. Yes, say that. exactly, that's right. She's charging for the experience behind the hour. That's right, thank yeah. you so much, Makisha, thank you.